Hello and welcome. It's Kofi here. As seen in the previous episode, we deployed our Angular application to DigitalOcean app platform. We have the application running live. If I click on this link, it should take us to the live application. That's where we ended off in the previous video. In this second part of the three part series, let's look at how we can deploy our Node Express application but we already have the Angular application running already and in setting up the Angular application, we created an app. We can continue from there and in this case, add what they call a component. So we already have a component running, which is the sample Angular. Let's go ahead and add the Node.js Express application as another component. It's going to be a web service, so we select the web service option. This is what will serve as the back end to our Angular application, more like the API. The repository is going to be the sample block. If you want to follow along with the code base that I'm using for this tutorial, you can see in the link in the description below for the link to it and you can add it accordingly. Move on to next. Next, we've seen this in the previous, pretty straightforward. Now, we make it a web service and the route is going to be API because this is the endpoint that we set. Whenever something hits this API endpoint, it should redirect it to the node component that we are setting up that it should handle that request. With the API added, we need to go ahead and update a few environment and variables. First one is going to be the database URL. This will be useful in the next part of the um, video series where we actually create the database and this is going to pass in the database URL to our Node.js application so that it can communicate with the, the database that we will create. The other thing we will add here is the Node TLS reject unauthorized. This is gonna be needed depending on um, your application. In my case, I needed to set this so that my application can run um, without throwing much issue. This is probably not a good idea and you shouldn't be doing that. Figure out how to solve that. You might not have to do this in your live applications. The next part will be the run command. We don't need to do anything to the run command. It's gonna point to the npm start which is by default the way to start your node.js application the express we move on to next we select the lowest bundle possible and move on to launch the web service now whilst the web service is launching let's come back to our code to see what changes we need to do basically no needed change this is the script that will be the command that will be run by the web service when it's starting on the component. This part is for use on the local machine. When you're trying to run it, you need, it, you need to pass in this environment variables, which is used in the application accordingly. So the database URL that is passed is what is used here. So with that, we have our Node.js application building. And so now that we have our application deployed successfully, we can click on the live to go back to the page. Now we should still be having an error and we shouldn't be able to see anything because we don't have our database set up yet. In this case, we'll consider how to attach a database as a component to our application and then wrap everything up and see the entire pipeline, how it all works together. Thank you for joining me in this one. Make sure to check the next video, which is the last part in the three part series video to see how to have the database attached and see how everything works together. Thank you for joining me in this one and hope to see you in the next. Bye.